Hello all, uh, I was asked in, my, in one of my comments to uh, put the comments of MG Graph because the old PowerShell comments are being uh, deprecated and then uh, I bought another uh, GoDaddy account and email and so as you can see here on my screen I have the, the domain and the network domain and uh, as we said before first thing to do is to reset the admin account so we go here users and we go to the account admin at network and we need to reset that password so we are going to reset the password i already reset the password and enabled mfa but i'm going to reset it again okay <clears throat> PowerShell. <clears throat> you need to uh, set execution policy, then the installation. You can run for all users, it's fine, or your own user is fine also. Administrator rights are required, so we need to run PowerShell as admin, PowerShell, I run as administrator. Okay, set execution policy, yes to all, install module for all users. Also, yes to all. As you can see here, version 2.16 of modern Microsoft Graph is already installed. So we are not going to install it again. Uh, also, they mentioned that if you can install the uh, beta version, but if you don't need the beta version, so no need for that. Okay, let's run again PowerShell as admin. We need to connect to this tenant. Okay, now we are going to log into this tenant. Okay. Okay, here you are giving the uh, Microsoft Graph the permissions needed, but not all the permissions. We accept. Okay. Now Microsoft uh, uh, Graph has the delegated access. Let's see. Let's see if we can connect. Uh, to connect to the domain. Get dash mg domain. Okay. If you can see here, insufficient privileges to complete the operation. So to give access uh, to Microsoft Graph to connect to the domain and edit the domain. We need to run this command. Domain read write. Okay. It's asking us if we shall give that <coughs> now. We need to check the domain is present, get dash mg domain. Okay, you can see here <coughs> this domain, the migration site is federated. So if you want to uh, uh, if you want to take control of this domain, we need to make it as managed and not federated. So we are not able to update the domain. Now we need to, to add more access. We uh, run connect mg graph with all of these permissions.
one. Okay, that's not a big line. Now it worked. Now the domain is managed. We have put get ng domain. <clears throat> okay, now we can see that the domain is managed by its admin and not by uh, GoDaddy. So now we have access to the admin center. We can log into admin center. Okay, now we have the access to admin center. 